So now before I prepare, especially the diagrams in advance, I generally check data sheets for the components. And probably the most annoying one is the 2N2222. So the information I have here is what I would like to find on the uh, data sheets that I look for when I search for 2N2222. The uh, 2N2222A is just an improved uh, version right there. And uh, so it can either like handle some more current or something, um, something like that. Uh, whatever that one can do, that one can do at least as well, maybe better. But in any case, uh, when you do a Google search, the data sheet uh, for this particular setup right here does not tend to pop up uh, very much. And um, so I found that kind of annoying. This one uh, does uh, pop up quite a bit. When you go to the data sheet, if you didn't see like a preview picture of it, you see that there's a can right there, component. And so I'm pretty sure that's TO18 right there. I'm pretty sure that's how they originally were made. So if you have a canned one, um, or you know, a bunch of canned ones, whatever, uh, you know, they're probably like older components. And you know, they may work out just well, just fine or whatever, but I don't have any, and I plan on never buying any. Uh, they can handle more current right there, probably a higher wattage and uh, whatnot. It looks like uh, current is uh, this, or, uh, the uh, voltage, I mean, maximum voltages are uh, probably uh, the same, at least for these uh, two uh, things. We're not going to go over this in detail. But in uh, any case, uh, it has a little metal, or it's a metal can, and I guess there's a little tab. Again, I don't have any, and I believe from the drawings that I saw that you got to the left the emitter when you got the tab to the left, and then coming out towards you, there's the base, and then the collector is to the right, and then if you like rotate you know, around the back there, there's uh, nothing right there. So I believe that's how it's set up. I don't think they're lined up like uh, those components there. Now, another thing. If you do a Google search for 2N2222, you know, you're going down the list. You're trying to find the data sheet that fits this. Uh, you know, I don't know if it got improved now. It's probably been like a year or something since I made this diagram. But uh, you get like the PN2222. Now, the Google search might say like 2N2222, but when you actually go to the site, it kind of guides you. Um, you know, it might even say on the site, 2N2222. But when you finally look at the data sheet, usually like a manufacturer makes it into like a PDF file or something, and then other people like share it. Uh, you might notice up close, that's a PN2222. And so if you're looking for uh, what uh, you got the electrical capabilities of the 2N2222, I believe you can still go by this data sheet and be just fine. Uh, again, there's also the A version, you know, with all of them. Um, that's the improved version right there. So, yeah, I believe, uh, you know, I think if I would have found other electrical properties, you know, I didn't go through it uh, super carefully. Uh, but for the basic electrical properties, it looks like it has the uh, same electrical capabilities as the regular 2N2222. But for some reason, there's P. I don't know. There's probably like a history. Of that um, but uh, any case these pop up quite a bit and you should be able to go by that when you're designing your circuit and you're worried about the limitations of the 2N2222 that you have you probably got an A version even if you have a P version um, you can probably use it in a circuit that would work uh, with this one I am assuming again always you know consult the data sheet of the specific component that you got now we have another uh, thing right here and I wrote that it's easy to find these data sheets, so they must pop up a lot too when I'm actually looking just for the 2N2222. So this is a P2. That's the uh, big thing. This is just P, right? The PN2222. And uh, so the N2222 is basically the part number, and then this is kind of like a variation or something. Um, but uh, yeah, P2 uh, for either of those. That's very important. Um, you know, it looks like it's got the same electrical properties except for the emitter and the collector are in opposite uh, spots. So a lot of circuits will still work if the emitter and the collector are uh, wired uh, backwards, um, but especially at higher voltages, it's going to uh, fail. Um, and it may even fail and you might not notice it at uh, lower voltages, um, you know, just not failing so bad that you really notice it, but you're not getting exactly what you want you gotta make sure you wire them correctly. So if it's uh, P2, then uh, you know with uh, this one here, you can uh, probably just swap these uh, two components and get the exact same circuit, I'm guessing, you know. I, I feel you know pretty confident about that. Uh, but this one, you got those two terminals uh, misplaced. So 
if it still works just like uh, this one did because um, you got that N type material P type material N type material the collector though is a thicker area right there it's harder uh, to break down the uh, collector and base when it comes to the voltages where it's easier uh, whichever direction you're going with the base to emitter that's the main thing um, but otherwise if you're not really stressing it it may look like it's working about the same um, but you do have these two pins that are opposite so that is the big thing right there and uh, yeah it even looks like that pin layout is the same right there if you know how to look at it and uh, tell which pin is which so in any case yeah I made this uh, diagram a while ago because I find it very frustrating when I'm trying to get uh, usually to say in my videos or write on my diagram exact electrical properties of the 2N22 and I don't like it when I see the data sheet says PN2222 even though the Google search told me 2N2222 uh, but then the website you know when they say 2N2222 uh, it's a PN2222 on there so um, that's kind of annoying I don't run into that with uh, really any other components nothing I can think of right now there might be like you know one or two where I did uh, you know I don't get the exact data sheet that I was uh, looking for when it's a specific part number but uh, right now this is really the only one that I always run into and I uh, find it the most annoying to try to find just a regular 2N2222 data sheet so thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video